You know what I'm saying? They kind of, you know, he kind of changes his tune a little bit because he's a, he's a fucking rat. He's a snake. So he changes his color. He'll shed that skin and come into a whole new one. You know what I'm saying? So now this skin right here is just, hey, everybody, let's have fun. Let's be, you know what I'm saying? Everything is good, you guys. No more suck my dick, you know what I'm saying, to clean up the whole image. Because that gangster image won't work anymore anyway. So, as I'm speaking about rappers that can deal with them and can't afford to deal with them and can't afford not to, he's going to be a pop star now. Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, Fearless League of A.O. Nation, and this is, if you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt yet, I don't know what the fuck you got going on, you must not be part of the nation, or you're going through something right now, and um, and that's acceptable, if you're coming out of it, it's not acceptable to stay there, understand, I'm not promoting, I'm sorry, I'm not promoting staying broke. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to tell you it's okay to stay where you're at. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? You just listening to me and, and being entertained and shit like that. That's not what this shit is about. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, um, the only people that I want in the Me and Two movement is niggas who actually have their shit together. If you still struggling and wuggling and shit like that, I would prefer you get your shit together. Focus on you. You know what I'm saying? This men too shit. I need people who have time to go to jail, have money to maybe bond out and shit like that. Because we about to do some shit on this end. You know what I'm saying? So if you are in situations, sit back. You know what I'm saying? Get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? You know, donate when you can and shit like that. Help out any way you can. But on this men too shit. I appreciate all the support, everybody that's been going to the, you know what I'm saying, uh, change.org and sign the petition. So much fucking support. It's crazy. Um, of course, you know that the uh, petition is in the um, description box right now, and you can sign it. But the people that are going to be in D.C. with me in August, it's not going to be everybody who signed that petition, and I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put a number on how many people I want with me in August because it's the quality of people, you know what I'm saying, that I'm concerned with. And we'll get more into that, you know what I'm saying, as time passes. But if you don't have your uh, T-shirt, um, the men two shirts or uh, 20 all other shirts, this is not, this goes on sale at the end of uh, March. But on your regular Are You Serious T-shirts or your um, Big Facts Podcast headwear, it's ten dollars shirts of fifteen. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious ten and handle business. And all of you should know that that is not the PayPal that you go to to donate. The PayPal that you go to to donate is paypal.me forward slash Aaron337, which will show on the screen uh most most of throughout the broadcast. Um and also I I really enjoyed myself um Friday. Um, the last live that I did. If you have not seen um, the last live episode, whatever like that, make sure you go on the channel and see that. Um, we'll be going live again uh, sometime very soon. All right. Um, I want to talk about six nine a little bit and about the music industry as a whole. Um, a question that needs to be asked. Shout out to my nigga. Um, J Money um, bring this to my attention um, what artists can afford to do a song with 6 9 and what artists can't afford to do a song with them and what artists can't afford not to that's the question um, I think it's three sections what artists can't afford I think that's like the J. Cole 50 Cent, Kendrick Lamar Kanye West people who Drake, you know what I'm saying, who have their, their fan bases solidified, you know what I'm saying, and if they do a song with 6 9 it'll be looked at as 
um, a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like it, J. Cole will do a song with him, and you can imagine when J. Cole does a song with 6 9 once he gets out, it'll be about, you know, nigga, why you snitch, whatever like that. They'll do it in a real creative way. You know, 50 Cent will do the same thing. Just like, we don't... 50 Cent will do a song with 6 9 when he get out of jail and name that shit. We don't, we don't bend, we don't break his treyway. You know what I'm saying? Just to troll niggas. See, you, you got that bunch of niggas. Then you got niggas who can't afford to do a song with 6 9 like Boosie, Meek Mill, Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? Yo Gotti, Young Jeezy, Gucci Mane, you know what I'm saying? Niggas whose career is built on the streets. It's built on being, I'm really what I say I am. You know what I'm saying? And I'm really that, I'm really street like that. And if they were to do a song with them, they'll be looked at like, you know, casting over. Can I say casting over? I don't know about Casanova. I don't know about Casanova. But them niggas I just named, those are niggas who, if they did a song with 6 9 it would look like, nigga, you doing that bad? You that, like, you fucked up like that, nigga? You had to do a song with fucking 6 9 Is that fucked up out here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it'll be looked at like a money grab. You're going against your morals to get some money. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know, we know that you stand on, you know what I'm saying, real street shit. You know what I'm saying? Real gangster. The code is what you stand on. And you doing a song with a nigga who is known not to live by that. It's about the money. So you need the money that bad? Damn. You know what I'm saying? So that's a group of niggas who can't afford to do it. Now, the group of niggas who can't afford not to will be the up and coming niggas. Um, um, niggas like Jada Youngin, um, just all the little 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 Zan, little 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 Pump, little little Yee Yee, little you know what I'm saying? Whatever these, these little you know what I'm saying? Weird, the new age niggas. You know what I'm saying? If if they, their management will tell them to reach out and try to get a feature from 6 ix 9 Just like when um when Pimp C got out, just like when um when Tupac got out, just like when um Boosie got out. Everybody when Gucci got out, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants features. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants a feature. Everybody wants a feature. So you in the studio for damn near two weeks just doing features every day, all day, because you getting your money up and shit like that. There are gonna be do not for a second get it fucked up and believe that 6 9 is going to come home to no type of, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a fucking frenzy. And the fact that he's still famous, fame alone, you know what I'm saying? A nigga who's trying to get his name up could give a fuck who he's doing a song with. Just as long as that person is famous because all that nigga wants is to come up a letter. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a nigga named French Fried Tater. That nigga, you know what I'm saying, got 10 million views on YouTube. All right, how much you want for the feature? Without even hearing the nigga music. He got, you know what I'm saying, 10 million followers on Instagram. Shit, uh, what do you want for a feature? Nigga just trying to get to the next level, give a fuck about none of that shit. And another um, a group of people who are, who are going to, who can't afford not to do a feature with 6 9 will be niggas from different places in the world. Niggas that are not from America. UK niggas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, niggas in Africa and Mexico and shit like that. Um, on a Vlad interview, the the bitch Sarah says, you know, this nigga was a soccer player and all that shit like that. I truly believe when he comes out, he is going to have a, a, a whole new team, of course. And they're going to start telling him to get back to his Mexican roots. Go play soccer with the little kids. He's still giving out money. You know what I'm saying? That that's one of the, the, the first things they're gonna tell him to do is you know start passing out money and shit like that, and get ready for his uh, biopic. Um, as I've been told you guys about him having a whole situation in the movie will show him being bullied by all the bloods and shit like that. The movie is gonna paint him as a victim. You know what I'm saying? Everything around six nine is gonna be anti-bully. 
uh, I, like I said, all, I said all this in a live on Friday when I said, you know what I'm saying, 6 9 going to come out doing a press run to my, I'm standing for all the kids that have been bullied. If you've been, I was, I, I never wanted to say anything, but uh, the shoddy and, and the trade way, they made me do it. The whole time they were, they were um, uh, uh, laughing at me, making me a clown. I didn't want to do any of that stuff. I I wanted to leave. They wouldn't let me leave L.A. I never wanted to go to Chicago. They made me do all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to, the picture is going to be painted that this is, you know, um, in the movie Above the Rim, in the movie Belly, um, Belly, they, uh, DMX made a dude get naked in the basement. In uh, Above the Rim, Tupac pushed down Marlon Wayans. And in both of those movies, you see those niggas coming back to try to get their revenge. Um, and Belly, he was unsuccessful. And in Above the Rim, he was successful. Um, and this is like revenge of the geeks type shit. Um, of course, um, 6 9 wasn't a gangster. We knew that he wasn't a gangster. So why was he around gangsters? This the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? They're going to make it look like the reason why he was around gangsters is because he was intimidated the whole time. Where he just wanted to do right, they made him do wrong. So he'll look like the victim. Um, and once again, the black man is the devil. And no matter what other race it is, they're, they're the good ones. And we're the evil ones. Um, but it's going to... They're going to try to run behind the bully flag. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop bullying all around the world. You know what I'm saying? He had to He had to do what he had to do. These niggas tried to kill him. They tried to kidnap him. They fucked his bitch. They were clowning him. They were stealing money. This was his way of getting some get back. He was relieved when the, the, uh, the feds came because now he can finally breathe because now he's finally protected. Um, they threatened his mother. Um, they knew where he lived. He couldn't leave because they knew where he, they had tabs on his baby mama and all this shit like this. Um, they they turned his baby mama and his child against him. These are all things that will be said. Whether or not they're true, it won't matter because on a major and a mass level, it's going to be seen as Treyway bad. That's why... So, we're not going to feel sorry for the, the Trey Wade shot it, Kuda B, and all these niggas getting 40 and 60 years. It will look like the the, the, the geek wins, the bullies go to jail. Just as it served. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's going to be. So now you see 6 9 on songs with, you know, Daddy Yankee, um, uh, Selena Gomez, Jennifer Lopez. You know what I'm saying? They kind of, you know... He kind of changes his tune a little bit because he's a he's a fucking rat. He's a snake. So he changes his color. He'll shed that skin and come into a whole new one. You know what I'm saying? So now this skin right here is just, hey, everybody, let's have fun. Let's be, you know what I'm saying? Everything is good, you guys. No more suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? To clean up the whole image. Because that gangster image won't work anymore anyway. So... As I'm speaking about rappers that can deal with him and can't afford to deal with him and can't afford not to, he's going to be a pop star now. He went in, <laughs> one of the highest paid rappers in the game, and came out a fucking pop star. Bobby Smurda went in, still hasn't came out. I'm not going to start that. I'm not going to go down the list of niggas. What happens to us in the jail system? Look what happened to Boosie. Look what happened to Gucci. You know what I'm saying? You get niggas go in. Nigga, when they come out, niggas come out of clone and shit like that. And even though Gucci did, you can say Gucci came out, you know what I'm saying, on some, you know, better shit, whatever like that. Look how long he had to spend in that motherfucker. This nigga going in and coming out like, you know what I'm saying, nigga, you know, at a hotel or some shit like that. Nigga getting conjugal visits. And I'm not trying to get upset about this shit. Because at the end of the day, right now, my nigga, it's your own fault. If you have a Takashi around you. If you have allowed a Takashi to infiltrate your circle, it's your fault. Whatever happens next, 
You know he's not. Listen to me, my nigga. You know that that nigga is not one of you. But you're allowing him to be there for whatever fucking reason. He's smiling, bringing up blunts. He, he always got the plug on this and that. And that's what I'm trying to tell you to get sober. If you were sober right now, it's a lot of people that are around you, that are in your everyday life, that you would have no contact with. The only reason why you're in contact with a lot of these niggas that you're around every day right now is because you have a drug problem. Imagine if you didn't need drugs or alcohol. Alcohol. If you didn't need drugs or alcohol, what purpose would these motherfuckers serve? You wouldn't even need a ride no damn where. 95% of your day is riding around for dope, whether it's working for the dope. My nigga, if, you're, if you drive Uber and all your Uber money goes to pills, coke, meth, heroin, then you drove around all day for dope. When you get sober, <laughs> my nigga, you're going to have a boring-ass life because your whole life, you're a zombie. You're a zombie. Zombies only move, and in, in, in some ways, we're all zombies, but zombies only move for to feed, to feed. That's all they can see. You give a fuck about nothing else in life. Need to feed. And that's, you only move for dope. Your only purpose in life is to do dope. Your body's only function is to ingest dope all day. This, this is what you need. If you're not smoking, my nigga, if you're not shooting, if you're not popping, if you're not drinking, you're not feeling good. You're not living, my nigga. You're not alive. You don't have a life. You know that, though. You know that the dope is taking over. The dope is started to impose on your real life what you used to have is no longer you don't even like to think about the past you you, you reference it as the good old days and and you know I, I wish you go back to how I used to be because you had the whole world in front of you now this is all you live for this is all you are in this bag right here this is all all of your sweat, blood, and tears go for this right here. Until you get here, you fucked up. Give a fuck about that fire hole over there. About, you know what I'm saying, that opportunity over there. If you don't got to deal with no money right now. But you got an opportunity where you maybe can go to school for four years. And, and, and go back to, you know what I'm saying, school for, you know, that marketing career that you want to do. That teaching career. You want used to want to be a veterinarian. The whole world was in front of you. All the potential and talent that you had, your whole fucking family, everyone knew that it was going to be you that was going to change things. Only to now, be riding around, barely riding around, delivering fucking pieces. Scrapping, cutting grass. You hate your job. You hate what you have to do to get money. But you can't do shit to get out of that situation. You're going to work that job for the rest of your life. And if you lose that job that you hate, you're going to cry. It's going to hurt you so bad. Because now how are you going to get your dope? When really you should be like, okay, I finally got out of that job that I hate so much. Now I can get on the bigger and better things. Even though that's not how you pose it, you know, change. You're not supposed to quit a job until you, you know, got another job and shit like that. But this job is causing you so much mental anguish, that stress every morning, having to get up to go to something that you hate. You can't stand the smell of the job. Oh my, the, the, the smell of it. You hate the clothes. You hate everything about your existence. But you made it that way. The reason why you have to do things that you hate to do. You, you see, you got it backwards. You think that 
this bag is helping you deal with the things that you hate to do. When really, this is the reason why you can't leave and can't stop doing the things that you hate to do. If you didn't need this, you would be able to think clearly. You would be able to see past this bag. You know what I'm saying? This is all you can see. You take this out, it's a whole world out there. You're probably going to die doing what you hate to do. Because you've wasted too much time on this fucking bag. My only prayer is that you come out of this bag before it's too late. I apologize for going on that tangent, but we have a really big problem with sobriety. And, you know, I'm losing soldiers to this war that we have on dope. The government should never have to declare war on dope when it's doing as much fucking harm as it is to us. Some artists are not going to be able to do song with Takashi 69. What I want y'all to do is get down in the description box and let me know some artists that can't afford to do songs with them, artists that can't afford to do songs with them, and some artists that can't afford not to. That their career, you know what I'm saying, will actually it'll go nowhere unless they get a big feature. Let me know down in the description box, description box, the comment section. Let me know what's going on, and please, please, come on, come on, man, you, you, you know who you are, you know who you are, you know what, you know what I'm saying, Sweetheart, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know the potential that you have. Don't let it end like this. Don't let that thing take any more from you than it already has. Big Facts Podcast, make sure you um, hit the PayPal, show love. Um, and hit the um, men to petition also. See y'all in a minute. Love.